Am I good? Okay. What's going on, guys? Another video today, kind of more of a review action, not really uh, like hardcore fishing, even though we are doing some hardcore fishing. This is honestly the first like full video I've done here in Montana on the Bighorn River. This is day one of uh, five or six. Um, and so I'm doing a little review here on the Oros screw-on strike indicator. Instead of, uh, you know, your traditional indicator has a little loop or grommet on the top or a little screw-on on the top, these ones split directly in half and you just kind of screw them on there like you would the cap of a, of a bottle and uh, we're gonna see if it really makes any difference we've been fishing with them a little bit last night um, and a little bit today and honestly they've been really successful um, and we're gonna try them out so let's see how it works matter me getting into the water and kind of seeing what's going on I think oh big fish massive massive brown okay. massive brown dude Right here on this line. There, there, there. Yeah, yeah. Over here. Woo Dude, look, this seam right here is nuts. I'm not gonna let him out. This seam is not. All right, ready? Get him. Yep, 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 yep. Dude. Two, three. All right, first fish on the uh, Oros kind of middle connecting indicator. Really, just a football of a brown, beautiful brown. Um, indicator did really, really, really well. Shot really quick. I'm using a pretty short leash. Let's get him back quick. Oh yeah, he's ready. <laughs> um, using kind of a short leash, kind of nymph rig, only like four feet to that top fly. Super responsive, and that's really what you want. Um, a lot of the guys out here use uh, yarn indicators instead of these foam indicators because they're a little bit more sensitive, but that was incredibly sensitive. Did really, really well. Give it like a, like an A minus. What fly did it take? Uh, a bead head pheasant tail is all that was on. So, um, let's get another one. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a great spot. I'm gonna just stay right here. Actually, I'm gonna. Have to... You know what I see here? The other side is money, 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 money. This is good. This is good. This is good. But that other side is better. Dude, you can see them. It's crazy. Yep, big rainbow. Right there. I think I just got to be out there just a ways. Yep. There we go. Ooh, on the caddis. Not the PMD. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, fish number two. Not huge. Probably 15 inch brown. Nice football. Get him back quick. Okay. <laughs> okay, he was ready to go back. Indicator is performing honestly really well i like pulses um because they're very light and they're very sensitive this is doing everything that a pulse can do um but more practical and a little bit more streamlined and it's doing better um you'll see the hook set there was not great that fish set jumped and was right at us so the hook set wasn't great but uh the indicator did its job and it was really good that's another that's an that's an a plus a plus plus so let's do another one. Oh, well, i was on the wrong line there but Oh, dude, they're all on this line here. Like straight on here? Yeah, like right between here and the rocks. Right where my indicator is. You see I keep that? Keep going? No, you're good. I mean, you can, but... Yep. Oh. <laughs> nice rainbow. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's not a dink. You're too used to these Utah. See what this one's on, eh? BMD, or no, I missed. Caddis. You know what that means tonight? Here we go. Here you go. Ooh, that's a pure. Fish number three in about 400 yards with the Oros. God, it's nice. Absolute football. Beautiful rainbow here. Let's get him back. Let's see if he's a. Yeah, he's a brute. He's a brute. All right, fish number three with the Oros. As you can see from the GoPro footage, from the fish that we're catching, these things work and. Uh, they're sensitive and that's all you can really ask for a strike indicator. What is going on guys back at the cabin after fishing today We ended up fishing that Oros for the rest of the day and there were Pretty much no flaws in it other than it does slowly slide down Your leader or your tippet or whatever you're attaching it to I think a simple solution for that is to wrap it once around the line that you're using 
and it shouldn't slip down, you know, if you don't like that, then maybe this isn't a perfect uh, indicator for you. But in my opinion, it worked really, really well. It was really sensitive for even those shorter nymph rigs in skinny water. So at the end of the day, it's probably like an 8.6 out of 10. You know, it's not perfect. And if you're going to get a 10 out of 10, for me, it's got to be perfect. And, you know, 8.6 is a very high score. So I think that was a really, really good uh, new product that's on the market. And I highly recommend it. Thanks for joining us for this uh, kind of gear review. I've never really done one of those before, but that was the first one. And there's going to be a lot of content coming from the Bighorn. This is day one and a half for us. And we still got four or five days out here. So it's going to be good. And uh, thanks for watching and subscribe. Later.